Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Stark Reality. The topic of today is going to be quite quick. It's going to be how do you know when your twin flame is thinking about you? And this is for both sides. This is for the chaser and the runner. So how do you know? When you are doing something, when you're not thinking about them and they randomly pop into your head, that is how you know. I'll give you examples. So say you're watching a movie you're reading a book, you're totally enthralled in the story, and then suddenly your twin pops into your head. That is them thinking about you. Or if you're doing online shopping, if you're in the grocery store and you're not thinking about them at all, you're like, oh, should I get those potatoes or should I get, you know, that lettuce? And then your twin pops into your head. You're like, oh, where'd that come from? (laughs) So it is when you are not thinking about your twin at all, when you are focused on whatever task you're doing and they pop into your head, that is how you know that they are thinking about you. So this comes a little bit later in the journey when you've connected with your heart space because all twins know that at the beginning of the journey you you go through the obsession stage. You're obsessed with them. You can't stop thinking about them. Even when you watch a movie, you read a book, you're online, you do grocery shopping, they're constantly in your mind, constantly hammering in. This is not them thinking of you. This is the obsessive stage. When you get past the obsessive stage and you are able to functionally live your life again (laughs) that is when they will start popping into your mind and that is when you've connected to your heart space because when they pop into your mind it is a form of telepathy so we feel everything from our twins and this is on both sides this is on the runner and the chaser when we've both connected with our heart space we feel them emotionally we feel them physically so if they hurt themselves you feel it you don't feel it as much, but you do, it does kind of manifest energetically on your end. And we feel them mentally. So mentally is their thoughts, what they're thinking, um, what they're thinking about you, what they're thinking about other things, all that stuff. So in the beginning, I used to think, I wonder if my twin thinks about me. I wonder if she thinks about me. Is she thinking about me? Like, it was just like, it was an obsessive thing, but Again, once you connect with your heart space, but once you get deeper into the deeper levels of your heart space, you realize that it's all telepathy. This whole twin flame journey is an energetic journey. I mean, yes, physically it does happen eventually, but you have to get the the energetic vibration frequency balanced in order to come into physical union. But when they think of you, it's a form of telepathy. Now, with twins... Uh, you know, okay. This is an example. You know, when you watch a movie and you see someone that has the telepathic powers, and then they they're looking at someone and they're really concentrating on on sending them a number or sending them um, a message or something. That's not the twin flame thing. The twin flame telepathy is completely involuntary. So my twin my twins thoughts filter through to me. My thoughts filter through to my twin. Uh, you know, if I injure myself, my twin feel it's it's involuntary. It just, it is what it is because we're the same consciousness, we're the same soul, and we need to get to a level where we feel everything from each other. So once you get to the deeper levels of the heart space, the telepathy is going to kick up. Everybody thinks telepathy is just, oh, I'm going to send my twin a mental message. No, telepathy takes many forms. Like I said, emotionally, physically, mentally, it's, it it takes many forms. I'll be sitting there, I'll be watching a movie, I'll be out doing something, and then my twin will pop into my head. And when your twin pops into your head for no reason, okay, it's you kind of seen something that reminds you of them. It's nothing like that. It's when you're completely engrossed in what you're doing, you're not thinking about them, and they pop up. And when they pop up in your head, it comes with an energetic signature. And that is how you know that they're thinking of you. Now, this happens again when you've when you've um, delved into the deepest levels of your heart space to really click into that. And this is what delving into your heart space means. I don't question whether my twin thinks about me because I know, because it comes through. I don't question a lot of things about my twin that I used to at the beginning because once you delve into the deeper levels, you just know. You just, you know, you can feel when they're missing you. You can feel when they're thinking about you. You can feel when they want to talk to you. Everything comes through energetically. And this is what twins need to get to if they want to reach physical union on both sides. So that's it. That's the end. Short video, but that is how you know how your twin is thinking about you. They will pop up into in your head 
randomly. If you have any questions or comments, or if you want me to address a certain topic on the twin flame journey, you can email me at starkrealitypodcast at gmail.com. If you have a different experience on how your twin is thinking about you, pop it in the comments. If you're on YouTube, I would really love to hear um, how it is in your journey, how it goes. And thank you for listening. Stark Reality is a Balloonhead Productions presentation.